Hello everyone, this is Mike from Dimensional Walking, and today we're going to title our segment Aliens, UFOs, and Nukes. So, I'll start this off by kind of quoting a gentleman that knows this type of subject matter, and his name is Robert Hastings. And Robert once said, uh, there has been, you know, many classified documents that have been declassified uh, about this subject. And there's been 120 former or retired military personnel who have established beyond a doubt that the reality of ongoing UFO incursions at American nuclear weapon sites has been going on for quite a while. And probably one of the most famous ones I just want to mention today is involving 10 uh, warheads at uh, Malmstrom um, Air Force Base in Montana. And this event happened in 1967. And this was an event where there was a series of um, UFOs that came over the base and actually mal started to mess with the sensors and mess with the launch codes, and this is well documented. I mean, it's pretty pre pretty profound, to be perfectly honest with you. And there was also, I guess there was a guy named Robert Jacobs there, he's a doctor, um, and he supposedly in 1964 captured uh, images of a uh, UFO shooting down a test missile out of the sky. Uh, at the same base, so this was a few. This is a few years earlier than the actual UFOs, kind of messing with the uh, launch codes and and just a bunch of havoc they were playing uh, during this time period. Uh, that is probably the most famous, but there has been others in the past, and I just want to mention a few of them. And I also want to mention that um, there have been. Um, Many uh, different types of people that are, um, uh, witness these type of events. And I just want to make, there's a little list I made. And some of them are such as uh, targeting officers, U.S. Air Force geodetic survey uh, officers, launch officers, uh, and various other uh, officers and security people at these bases. Now, this isn't just a one-off. This this is made up of, in this particular case, I think Hastings said 120 former uh, retired military personnel. So th this is real stuff, okay? And I know some of this information has been passed on through interviews and, and documents to the, uh, you know, the new UFO UAP office in Washington, D.C. And uh, I want to see what they're going to do with this because the simple fact is it looks like it's well documented and it looks like it's pretty profound, okay? So, anyways, a couple of the other thing, uh, uh, areas, uh, events that happened at different Air Force bases. In 1976, there was a documented... Um, uh, event that happened at Warren Air Force Base where a cigar-shaped, uh, uh, this was also in Wyoming, a cigar-shaped uh, craft came over the base and, and hovered there for uh, quite a few minutes. Um, one of the most famous of all is the 1980 Bentwaters, uh, that's the Royal Air Force Base, That's uh, it's actually a joint base, uh, between the United States and England, and that uh, is was a very famous event that happened over several days, and when UFOs were buzzing the the base, there was actually some of them that came down, and the military was kind of chasing them through the forest. This whole Bentwaters, as you most of you probably know, is it's surrounded by this beautiful forest. And there's a lot of opportunity. Apparently, they came in there. These small kind of scout ships came in there, and the military is kind of chase them around. And some, it, it's been claimed that some people, some of the an officer or two, and, and a bunch of the people, the military personnel there, actually had a, a very close encounter with some type of an entity there. 
Now, I also was uh, lucky, strangely lucky enough, as usual, to uh, actually interview somebody that was there at Bentwaters uh, that told me and confirmed everything I thought I, I thought was maybe uh, you know somebody's imagination, but I actually believed after the interview that it was all pretty much all true. So, anyways, that was Bentwaters, 1980. And then, let's see what else we got. We got Walker in 1964, Walker Air Force Base, which is in New Mexico. Now, that was where six uh, UFOs hovered over the air base. Walker, I believe, has either plane, had jets that could carry nuclear uh, warheads. And so, anyways, this, this whole incident become, became a top secret situation. And we don't know too much more about the Walker situation, okay? So that was some of them, some of the other ones. And there's more, but those are probably some of the more key ones that, that we talk about. So what, what I want to say is that I don't believe that uh, the aliens physically want to take our, UF, our uh, UFOs, physically want to take our nukes, okay? I don't think that's in the it's in the game, but I really, really think that they want to prevent us from launching any. Okay, I think after the Americans had, uh, you know, two nuclear weapons were discharged above Japan, I think after that that got their attention, and I think after that our UFO sightings increased quite a bit. And I think they do not want us killing each other with a nuclear war. It doesn't seem like they're overly uh, concerned about us battling ourselves conven with conventional weapons because obviously we've had wars, uh, not all of them really big. Now we do have, of course, one in Ukraine right now, which is a pretty good sized war going on, but we're using conventional weapons. So anyways, so I, I think the takeaway here is it looks to me, and, and I think the history and the documentation is there to say that the uh, aliens, UFOs, aliens, are watching worldwide all the nuclear facilities by all countries, not just the United States. Um, I'm uh, certain, and I've written about it and, and talked about it, Russia had similar problems. Uh, can't say that China has, but China is pretty secretive, so we probably wouldn't know. I don't have no doubt at all that there's UFOs over North Korea keeping an eye on them. But, th th you know, the, the bottom line here is going to be I doubt highly if a nuke will ever be launched uh, that would, you know, help start World War III. I really, really don't. I think... I think the, the, the aliens are not going to allow it. They just won't allow it. Now, I don't think uh, humans are that smart. I think this could happen. Uh, I think it could happen as an accident. Uh, we all know, well, at least any, all the sane people of the world know that if we start it, it's, it's pretty much over. And when I say over, it would be pretty much over for the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, I think maybe the Southern Hemisphere could probably survive a nuclear war since most of the war itself would happen in the northern hemisphere so anyways with all that said i guess that is some good news i guess in a way uh with all that said uh we'll see you again uh so we need we need your subscriptions we need your views of course we need your comments if you want to send us a private email you can send it at dimensional walking at gmail.com and until we meet again happy trails bye bye